This one, honestly, I, I really didn't think anybody could take exception to this. I, I was a teacher to begin with in life. And I was teaching at a school in the southern suburbs of Johannesburg. And uh, I was entranced, really, enchanted by the way they spoke English. So I wrote them a song. Um, in their dialect, as it were, or as Rich has said, I think quite rightly, their patois. And uh, it had some strange effects because uh, a lot of people were offended, particularly the parents of some of them, who said to me, listen, Munir uh, Taylor, <laughs> they said, our Stoffel used to speak very nice English till you heard your bloody song. <laughs> so uh, and the, the government didn't like it either because it was mixing the languages. They, they didn't want black and white to mix, but they didn't want English and Afrikaans to mix either. So there it was. They wanted purity. Anyway, this was the song, and the kids loved it, and so did South Africa in the end. Ah, oh, please, Daddy, won't you take us to the drive-in? All six, seven of us, eight, nine, ten. We want to see a flick about Tarzan and the ape men. And when the show's over, you can bring us back again. Popcorn, chewing gum, peanuts and bubble gum, ice cream, candy floss and Eskimo pie. Ach, Daddy, how we miss sugar balls and liquors, Pepsi, Cola, ginger beer, and Canada Dry. That's the chorus. <laughs> Music students. Ach, oh, please, Daddy, one your foot sack. <laughs> Yeah, the footsack, footsack's a wonderful word. Try and remember it, because you might go to South Africa one day, right? Footsack means go away.